Hello, it's time for another project, um, another Professor Spanner project. Because I'm waiting for parts, they are, as usual, in the post and all that kind of stuff. It just takes time, it's the nature of the business. Um, I've had this, you might have seen it in the background uh, when I've been doing other stuff. It's just come to the fore now. One of the reasons it's come to the fore is that I have a Carby cleaning kit. Refurbishment kit, should I say. So the plan is to turn this into uh, an RC30 replica. Now, if I've got my head around my editing software, I'll place a picture of the RC30 up now. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's absolutely gorgeous. One of my favourite bikes ever made. It's just of my time. Um, there was only a few, I think 30,000 of them made for homodulation purposes for racing. So they were Hondas, um, no expense spared, let's win races with this bike, uh, the Superbike, the Superbike Championship. And they did. So they, they built the bike to be as fast as it possibly could, barely, called it a production bike, though the numbers were really limited. And they went and uh, won the Superbike series with it. It was, it was a fabulous bike. Most people haven't seen one in the flesh. If you're lucky enough to see one in the flesh, that's great, good luck, well done. Um, very, very few people will own one. And most people would like one. Now that's the RC30, that, I, that picture that I showed you. This is the RC36. So it's a Honda, same as the RC30, and it's only a few model numbers away, but it's vastly different. This, unlike the RC30, is a very mass-produced bike that is a sports tourer. It's probably a bit more sporty than Tory, uh, but it's a sports tourer, so it's well behaved on the road, it's got excellent road manners, um, excellent reliability, um, the gear ratios in the gearbox suit long distance touring and, and sporty riding. It's a very well behaved road bike, not a race bike, though you can ride it fairly quickly. So what a lot of people do is because this does share some similarities with the RC30, if only just in appearance, a lot of people make RC30 replicas out of the RC36. And that's what I aim to do. But before we can do that, I've got to get this thing running. Nothing at all at the battery. Oh, by the way, this was cheap as chips. This was $1,800. Um, and had been sitting in someone's shed for a long time. These aren't difficult to find, but the RC30, they're a hundred thousand dollars easily. Um, so vastly different. This is yet yeah, find one of these on Gumtree or eBay or mar Marketplace. Yeah, they're relatively cheap. Eighteen hundred bucks is about the going price for any. Oh, and this is registered. I've got a private plate for it, but this is registered. It doesn't run. Oh, maybe it does run. I haven't tried it yet. But as well as showing how to make this into an RC30 replica, this is going to be a good video for just recommissioning a bike that's been stood for a long time. Um, the additives that they've got in petrol just gums up your carbies, and Australian sun perishes everything that's made out of rubber. Actually, not just the sun, but the heat in general perishes everything made out of rubber. So we're lucky that we get less rust than Europe. But in terms of, um, you know, the, the bike still is no good. It only takes one seal to not be sealing as soon as that rubber has perished. Uh, and, and it doesn't work. So, yeah, the bikes and the cars, they look great, but they don't go any more than any other bike or car in any other continent. So before we turn this into an RC36, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get it going and something like reliable. And I can just ride it like this for a bit to iron out all the kinks and, and 
um, just check that it's it's ticking over nicely and, and I'm happy with it before I start pulling off the bodywork and putting that beautiful RC30 bodywork. Now, one of the mistakes that I've made uh, in previous videos is staying too far away and not showing you what's going on. So, come with me. Here it is. The, now this is technically an RC, actually I'll show you on the, if I show you on the plate here, if we can get in close. Let's have a look. Okay. That should read as JH2 RC36U. So it's an RC36 and it's the second generation. There was an RC36 one. This is an RC36 two. I'm told that the RC36 two is the ideal version to make the RC30 copy out of. And one of the reasons for that is I believe that this looks more like the RC30. Whereas I think the first generation RC36 has got some weird sort of casting thing going off up here that makes it look, well, that's like, a, like an RC30. One of the problems that this particular bike has that prevents it looking like the RC30 is a five spoke rear wheel. But wait. That's not five spokes, I hear you say. No, it's not. This is the wheel of an RC36-1, which has eight spokes, the same as the RC30. They are like rocking horse poo. Everybody wants one of those. Okay, so that's one thing that, that I've got and it's going for it. Okay, so it's got the right number of spokes. Um, keen eyed will notice that the this is beautiful. I love stain tune exhaust. This is a stain tune exhaust, it's an Australian made, very high quality stainless steel. Unfortunately, it's going to get sold or binned or something like that. Well, probably sold because someone else will want it um, because it exits on the wrong side for my RC30 replica. RC30 exhaust is on the left hand side, so that will come off and that'll go, but not not for me to ride it as it is. So we've had a look around it and it's quite a tidy bike. It's, it's what can I say? It's a lovely bike. It's, it's great. It's fabulous. Um, but I've got fabulous bikes. I want an RC30. So I'm going to ride this for a bit. So first thing, oh, there you go. Oh, the clocks don't look anything like the, um, the, the instrument cluster looks nothing like the RC30. So I believe we use the ones off of a Fireblade. I'm told that the Fireblade clocks look far more like the RC30 clocks. The Fireblade's the CBR919, I think. 